everyone, Ammo here from more Darkest Dungeon. I'm super excited because we have four level fives. That means we could go on our level five champion mission and just be super happy about it. Before we do that, let's double check that their skills are all good and these are not. Uh, I'm gonna use all these though. I'll we'll use three of these. Well, you know what? We have tons of money. Might as well fully upgrade it. Even if we don't use those skills. Right? And Gene, alright, I think everyone's set, but no harm double checking. We'll have all level fives. What about trinkets? Trinket. Trinkets. Trinkets. And eh, trinkets. Okay, we're all set on trinkets. Set on camping skills? Can upgrade. Eat. Uh, almost done with the bonfire. Tunnels, survival is the same. Oh, Prepare, stress reduction. Persist. And overcome. Stress reduction. Reduce stress, increase stress, reduce torchlight, heal. Sure, we can grab one of those. That yeah, will use it. Suffer. All companions reduce stress, but he suffers damage. One companion. Oh, it's just wound gear. Yep. No harm having wound gear on. And one companion heal 20%. Oh, that's still wound gear. Said nothing wrong. We're carrying you. Encourage everything. That's fine. Let's embark, shall we? I could take one more. Take a moment to instead cure Alan and ammo stress here. But I'm too impatient for that. Let's just not. And who do we want to kill first? The Necro Lord, the Swine God, the Hag Witch. I think we might do might do them in order. So we go. Well, no, well, order. I think we did the wheel actually third. I think we did the hag last. We do the swine god. What's this team good at? All rows, third row, back or front row, front row. So we're good at targeting the front. I think we kill the swine god then. Let's go west, Gene, myself, Alan. And I can totally hit this. Okay, okay, this should be fine. We should be able to do this. Let's go. Do this, my God. Why am I feel hesitant? I think it's because I want to heal Necromancer Lord. Change plan. You know what? Necromancer Lord sounds good. Let's kill Necromancer Lord instead. The team, I mean, it, we'll, we'll be able to do it anyway. Take shovel. The team should be effective enough at killing Necromancer Lord. In fact, they, they're, it's pretty well balanced, solid team, they should be able to kill whatever they need to. And just over provisions. Just make sure we're fine, don't need holy water. Okay, maybe that's a little too much. Maybe just a couple bandages and a couple anti venoms. Because this is not about making a profit. In fact, how much do we stack these three? Kind of curious. Six. Ah, uh, three, three each. This is not about profit, this is about. I brought my you. colleagues back with much of their intellect intact. A remarkable triumph for even the most experienced necromancer. Freed from the trappings of their humanity, they plied their terrible trade anew. The dead reviving the dead on and on down the years. Forever. Ooh. A dead scourge, that is. Okay, boss room right there, bro. Let's go straight down. Head into the abyss. Of course. Packs laden with loot are often yes. low on supplies. So we're not here for treasure, but we might as well get some treasure while we're here. And that surprise is really annoying, so let's shadow fade out of here. It's your stun resist high. Your stun resist is pretty low. So. <laughs> yeah, deal with it. And then I got a huge dodge buff, which is awesome. Grab this guy up forward. Oh, it touched. Ugh. Stop that. Stop that right now. That's fine, because Gene can take that damage. Pull this guy forward. I need him to stop doing his whatever it is he's trying to do. And then chop him in half. Right. Throw a dagger. Kills Mushman, hopefully. Nope. 
can finish off the sharpshooter. As the fiend falls, and finish off the militia man, we'll be fine. Blossoms. In fact, a I can. Strike. I could have comboed my stun with his finishing. Kind of forgot there's a combo available there. This thing does not do much much damage, break. which is fine by me. Stun it backwards. Resisted stun though. So. Alright. Well Two health left. Take it down, somebody. And we're getting our stress reduction. We're getting our, we don't see we don't need to take a break. In order to get our stress reduction. We're getting stress reduced while we're fighting. Narrator feels extra chatty today. Alright, we're all set up. It was an unfortunate ambush right away, but this happens. In Radiance, may we find victory. No fight, excellent. I wouldn't mind scouting. Having a scout go off so we can avoid traps. Just know what's coming. Stack of books? No, you know what? Could be buff, could be a lot of stress. Purchase. I don't want to take any Spirits chances are lifted, here. And purpose is made clear. Dangerous stuff, we're gonna leave alone. It's all about killing the boss, that's our only concern. I think we brought a shovel. If we need to use a second shovel. We needed. I only brought one shovel, didn't I? Even the cold we need a second one. I'm really upset. Seems bent on preventing passage. Nope. Just ignore, just ignore it. It's locked. Be a trap. Which normally causes bleeding or blight. We can cure bleeding and blight. I'm trying to crit him. I'm seeing quite work out there. Just kill the sergeant. Oh, there's a pretty good dodge. Our enemies are doing some pretty decent <laughs> job dodging all our attacks, which is of course a little frustrating. Just the way it is. Really need to kill this thing, or it does too much damage. Although it's not exactly, it's not a fusilier. It doesn't have the AOE damage, but it does have hitting our back row, hitting our exposed Confidence units or vulnerable the enemy units. Crumbles. That can only take so much damage. Please kill this thing. That's some disappointing. And you're not resisting the blight. Eh, kind of. Kind of resistant blight. Yeah, just throw it. Nah, use it. No crits. Come on, 27% crit chance. Come on. Those crits. Watch out, Sergeant. Devastating blow. There, thank you, Alan, for listening. And reducing your own stress. Very good. There, that's the guy we need to kill. Sir Lancer. Forgot about your AoE. Now I crit him. Still didn't kill him. Two health left. But less stress. And he really didn't do one that much damage to that attack. This guy's kind of reminding us, hey, I'm giving you a chance here, just reminding you I have an AoE attack and I don't be worried about. Uh, bounty. Good mark him and then bounty him, but he should be dead before like, that even would have a real effect. Because they have to go through three turns for two to catch up with damage. Because if we hit him twice, that'd be safe as hitting him once for double damage, so we'd have to go through another turn and hit him again for it to be more. Mark target to actually have been the right my move. Which is why I only really use it on this bosses at the at least promises Hot back. success. Lock chest, should I just take the trap? Nope, the diamond trap. Some heirlooms. Walk away over, why not? Alright. Have a trap. Sack of goodies. Which is empty. Trap, I should be able to disarm. And then a battle. Everyone's doing fine, so Alan's a little hurt. The way is lit. The path it's a weak is fight. Clear. We require Excellent. only the strength to follow it. Dash this guy. Excellent. Should I go next? That's probably bad. That gives me no one to attack. Oh. Hit the second guy. Should have left the third guy open. Do him. Tons of damage. Almost dead militiamen. Push him off. Excellent. Even crit, we even. <laughs> that fight was strictly beneficial for us because we reduced their stress. A trifling big money. You haven't even eaten anything yet. Victory, nonetheless. Torch. All right, one more. Everyone, set up camp. I'm gonna be really disappointed. Uh. There you go. I'm gonna really disappointed the bosses like over here. I'm pretty sure the maps. You know. Pretty sure that it spawns like as the far away as safety. Pretty sure, not 100% sure. 
I'm pretty sure that's what it's doing. Hey, oh, we got surprise, that's annoying. Not too bad, crazy position, it's annoying though. Dodged. Get my buff anyway. I think we'll set up camp here. Stop shooting Alan. Who's <laughs> with you guys? Poor Alan. Alright, kills the royalty. You can hack away. 40 damage crit and still not dead. Things have a ton of health. Chillery. Oh my gosh. So the dodging, how much dodge? Why do you guys have so much dodge all of a sudden? Quickly the tide turns. Alright. Yeah, 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 big deal. It's done though, that is actually kind of problem. Alright. Kill him. Oh my gosh, the dodging! <laughs> we can't hit them! It's gonna be a huge problem if we're fighting the Necromancer and everything he summons has massive dodge for no reason. Okay. Oh my gosh. Game. Why? Why do I? Why do you do this? Why do you do this to me? Why do you give the enemies a ton of dodge that I can't do anything about? I guess we have a ton of dodge too, but we're not actually dodging, strangely enough. We have higher dodge than they do, but we're not dodging anything. Okay, well, Wes doesn't have any dodge because of his uh, trinkets. And yeah, my dodge is pretty good, and Alan's dodge is great, but he hasn't been dodging anything. This guy only has two. Should just, maybe we should just bite him. Ugh. No. <laughs> This fight is silly. This fight, we should not be taking nearly as much damage as we are. Okay, stop. Just hit him. Okay, stop letting him dodge all your attacks. Just hit him. Thank you. You... Kill yourself. Our health up. Don't get knocked back. Okay, good. Can't bite this guy. Yeah, yeah, it's high blight resist. It's not passable. Thirty-one. Keep keep healing. Get around some heals. Keep our health up. Dash them down, and we should be just fine. Alright, <laughs> why? Okay, you can't dodge. Do West can't dodge. It seems that was a very frustrating fight that they dodge so much and we dodge like not. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And burn up a torch. The match is struck. Drop the a torch. Blazing star Take is express. born. We don't so much need the money. It's just money. And that should be our boss fight. There we go. It is a boss fight. So we'll take a nap, everyone. A spark without kindling is a goal ah, without hope. And full health. Everyone's full health. Now we just do crazy buffs. Buff everyone. Do I have any buffs? I don't improve scouting chance, but that's not going to be useful. I believe you. Yeah. I don't know if they're. I don't think the Necromancer counts as monster size, too. I don't think we have to worry about that one. When you have the. You definitely need your increased accuracy. The new extra accuracy and crit. Extra accuracy and crit. Could drop it on Gene. You have no accuracy bonus. Plus 20% damage. Hmm. We need we should spread the spread the buffs around. So everyone specializes in hitting a different area. Alan, I don't think you'll be doing a ton of damage. We'll give What's what's this one? Extra accuracy, extra crit. Give yourself extra accuracy and extra crit. Wait, it's companions. Then you give extra damage. You get all buffed. Buff your own speed. And how much time do we have left? It's pretty much everything. We'll produce a supply item, produce food. Uh, stress resist to be alright. Extra stress resistance. Anybody have that available? Nope, okay, fine. Better pilfer. That's a pep talk. Stop it. Okay. Pep talk. Alan, because he has some stress. 
And everyone has buffs, then now we rest and really hope we don't get ambushed in the night, that'd be really annoying. Yes, yes, you're all having to jet. Ah. Not a scary group. Not a scary group. Not scary. Yeah, it is not a scary group. Fair surprise, though. In a super obnoxious fashion. It's particularly obnoxious. Good crit, though. But now, for now, nerd. As a light up. Little torch. You still aren't dead. You have two health. Your accuracy. Chance to hit 90%. Okay. Kill him, though. Now, just these guys, which are pretty weak. They have no problem healing up whatever damage they do. Some food. Genius takes the board. Bit him. Excellent. Avoid. One piece at a time. I can crit. Ah, uh, Alan's been doing really good crit. 25% is actually really good. Crit chance. Should have intimidated for extra accuracy, but whatever. You missed anyway. No harm, no foul. I'll finish. That's it. As victories mount, it so too will position. resistance. Full health. All right, time for the boss. After we hit this trap. All right now, it's time for the boss. After we ignore this, ignore that Iron Maiden. All right, boss time. Yes, so exciting. Finally, Lord, necromancer. Fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. Anchor me, friends. Don't let me put me down. Necromancer Lord, That's a lot. Stun resist. High stun resist. High blight resist, but not high enough. Yeah. Not high enough, friend. You definitely. Can't resist. Knife the sergeant. There we go. Keep him, keep him in the front. Because every time he uses an ability, some skeleton pushes himself back. We're going to keep him near the front so we can keep up him. Accuracy? No, we don't need to deal with accuracy. Just do as much damage as we can. Keep hitting him. Oh, the crits are so good. Make me so happy. We need them. We need them real bad. That's a stressful attack, I believe. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Although we're all like no stress, so it's fine. Hit him more. Oh, yes. Crit resisted, though. I want to stack blight as much blight on him as I can. Even though he does have decent blight resistance. Start collecting your bounty. Oh, for the damage! That's what I mean! Yes. Like a quadruple damage attack. Should we just go for the kill here? 55. That's unlikely to happen. Uh. All right, how do we want to take this? I think it heal. Do a little bit of damage to both. Our way down. So we might be able to kill him this round, depending who goes in. And what the sequence is like. Forget the blight. Try to finish him off. So low. Yeah, there we go. Great. Go for the crits. There's 12 health left. Collect bounty. Uh oh. That summons another skeleton. We can still take. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. That's in the bag now. Fascinating. And terrifying. But for you, you can't participate as much as you want to, Gene. Which is fine, you can take, help take care of these skills and take some hits. You can no longer collect your bounty. That's fine, you can finish up. With Massive no damage, and the Necromancer Lord is super Will dead. These walking bones finally fail? Yes, the bones have finally failed, narrator. He's dead, he's gone. This last little pet. It's not even tough, he wasn't even summoning very tough guys. But he had a ton of health and was doing decent damage. Like, like he almost took me halfway down. Just those few attacks he used. All right, and mission accomplished. Remind we got yourself so much that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. You don't need like you, you, or you. Can, like use that on the chest. No, I don't need you. Yeah, just grab it all. Yeah, I'm totally just grab it all. Chest before we leave. Finding the okay, stuff is charm. only the first test. Now it must be Do carried I need two home. bounty hunter wounding helmets. Plus ten percent damage in melee. Actually, that's actually we should throw that on probably. Yeah, you don't need a tough ring. As much more damage. Although that's to go with your Allen, which is your dodge chance. 
because that makes you tougher to make a plus dodge with the extra accuracy and crit. 10% melee damage. Be pretty solid though. Let's try to switch that around. And then you can get two tough rings, that's 10% damage though. Which is fine. We can just use tough ring on someone else, not get these four the only ones qualified to use trinkets. And then this kinda sucks anyway. Plus five dodge, plus five percent. Minus five percent max HP. That's it. It's not very good. Debuffs don't look very good. Second wounding I guess use that on second bounty hunter and just drop this on the floor. Right? Yes, not no. You don't need food. I guess we can take it. We don't need food or torches, we're done. Okay, that was silly, that was a waste of time. But we did it, killed Necromancer Wood. Get the gold. Get all the drinkets. All the heirlooms. And can we even get to level is there anything beyond level five? We get to is there level six? Okay, we don't know, we haven't got there. Oh, come on, Gene. Time to go treat you for that. Fear mankind's you know, alright. And bulimic, wow. It's a shame we got those negative traits, cause the poor caretaker. Now we're gonna have to take a quick break. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. Now I think what we're gonna have to do, we're have to take a break so we can clear out these bad, clear out these bad traits. Can I even upgrade you? Oh my gosh, we can. Experimental Excellent. And Alan, you got one over two things. Didn't you? A sharpened sword cannot. I know I got one. I won't get it. I got bulimic. Did I get bulimic? Did I not get bulimic? I got bulimic. Bless, are you bulimic now? I swear I got bulimic. You are f game. Why are you doing this to me? Maybe I didn't get bulimic. Huh. Alright. Alright, so we're just going to take. Use less distress resistance. Alan has fear of. Beast. Let's get rid of his fear beast. West, I'm sure you have something. Nervous, just flat. No stress resistance. Okay. Our team's getting a little bit of treatment. So next episode will be like a you know, low level, low to mid level adventure. Or even I might not even air that one. We'll just skip that one, wait till they're treated, and then go to the next boss. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, uh, subscribe for more. Follow me to Twitter. All you guys know the deal, and I will see you next time.